Welcome to EndNote 21, Importing References and Finding Full Text Files. First up, um, we're going to talk about direct export from databases. Most databases include um, a direct export feature, and this feature lets users export publication citations from a database to a reference manager, like EndNote. In the database, um, usually the way things work is the user would mark the publication citations they want to export and then look for an export button or link. And it is usually labeled as such. It will say export. Um, next, you would choose either the EndNote or the RIS option. In many databases, they option. In some, they will not. And so in this case, you would want to choose RIS. This is a file type that is compatible with um, EndNote and other reference managers. Now, in PubMed, which is what we're going to use in our demonstration today, because that is the most widely used resource here at our institution, um, it, things are a little bit different. PubMed um, uses uh, or places their direct export um, option under a button that is labeled Send To. So you would select Send To and then choose Citation Manager. So let's um, demo that now. I'm going to pop into PubMed, and I have a basic search here and some search results. So first, I'm going to start by marking the publication citations that I want to uh, get to my EndNote library. I'm going to do that just by ticking the box next to the title. So I'm going to mark these first three. I'm going to click on the Send To button and then choose Citation Manager. It's going to ask me to confirm that I want to create a, a special file for the three citations that I marked. So I'm going to confirm that by clicking on the Create File button. That file is going to upload and then automatically begin talking with my EndNote program. So you can see here it brought those references or those citations out of PubMed and into my EndNote library. Okay, moving forward. Um, next up, the online search feature of EndNote. This is a feature that lets users search um, outside resources from references, but it allows you to search directly from, the, uh, from EndNote's desktop application. And there are some well-known resources that are included and can be searched, and these include um, PubMed, Web of Science, and CINAHL, but there are several others. So let's pop into EndNote and take a look at that. The online search feature um, appears in the leftmost column. This is sometimes referred to as the groups column. So here is the online search. You can see I can open and expand the online search. You'll see that there are several different resources listed here. Your list might look a little different than um, my list, and that's because you can um, add resources from those that are available to this panel. You can do that by clicking the plus sign next to online search. That's going to bring up a window that shows us all of the different um, resources that we can search. This is an alphabetical list, so you can scroll through and um, pick and choose resources that way, or you can use the um, quick search here if you're looking for a particular resource. And then you would just click on choose uh, that resource appear now in your list. So again, I'm going to use um, PubMed um, first. I'll look at PubMed and then Web of Science. So let's choose PubMed. We're going to do that just by um, clicking on PubMed, and you'll see that it highlights green. Um, I had a search earlier here that you can see, so I'll go over that. Or actually, let's do um, let's do a new search. So first, we're going to change um, the fields that we want to search. So I'm going to click in this drop-down menu, and right now I have it set to search the abstract, but let's search the title instead. And um, I'm going to take this out, and we will put in new search term. And I'm going to change this again from abstract to title. You can see there are several different fields that you can choose to search. Um, that's up to you and whatever your um, research needs are. So I'm going to change this and... So I am going to search PubMed for article citations that have the terms breast cancer and Keytruda in the title. So I'm going to click this green search button, and it's going to begin searching. Okay, 
And so it gives me four results. I'm surprised by this um, search. And it looks like they're all sections of a book. So I can click um, to view more information about that citation. That information is going to appear over here on the um, right hand side or in the rightmost column. And if I find that it is a citation that I want to include or bring into my EndNote library, then I'm going to click the plus sign here. And it's going to be added. Um, it's going to appear both in the recently added um, group of references, and it's also going to appear in the all references group. So let's take a look next at um, Web of Science. We're going to choose that. And again, you can see I had a, a search earlier. I'm going to clear that search. The fields for searching Web of Science and really any of these resources are going to be a little different, and right, it depends on the database. So in this case, we can choose to search um, the title, keywords, and abstracts. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, um, I'm going to put in, I'll use the same search. And I'm going to click on the green search button. We should see it start to search and then um, show us the results. So in this case, um, I have 11 search results. That appears right up here. You can see this kind of tiny and light print. Um, but again, I can work through these um, results. I can preview more information on the right-hand side. And then anything that I would like to add, I'm just going to select it and then click on the um, plus sign. And then you can see, and you'll, you'll watch this number change. So we just had recently added, we were at 35. We've added four citations, so now we're at 39. Same thing will happen up here in the All References group. And that's how we can search directly from the EndNote desktop um, application, uh, but searching an outside resource. OK, uh, next up, EndNote Click. This is a web-based plugin um, that identifies PDF files um, for references or for article citations. The files can be imported um, from web-based resources to your EndNote library from databases and web-based resources. So things like Google Scholar um, also um, would work with EndNote Click. And then EndNote, um, EndNote will create uh, references uh, using the file's bibliographic data. So not only does it bring the full text file into your EndNote library, but it also uses that data to create the reference for that file. And you can see here in the screenshot, um, again, an example using PubMed. This is EndNote Click in action. So as I search PubMed, Wherever EndNote Click is able to identify a full text file, it's going to show me a purple um, button, and that button says View PDF. I would click on that button to get directly um, to the PDF. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll go back to our PubMed search. So you can see, um, for example, this result number two, there is a, a purple button and the one beneath that too. So let's click on the purple button. This is EndNote Click in action. It's going to take us to the PDF. Hopefully, it's going to take us to the PDF. There we go. And so here is um, the full text file. Now, on the left-hand side, we have uh, some options. Um, I'm going to choose to export this full text file um, to my desktop application. So I'm going to click there, and we're going to see that file upload. That's an EndNote file. We can double click on that, and then that's automatically going to start talking with my EndNote program, and it's going to bring the file, and it's going to create the corresponding reference. So you can see here, interesting, there it goes. I was wondering, where is the, where is the file? But there it is, just took a, just took a little time. So here's our file and um, our corresponding reference. Okay, so how do you get EndNote Click? Um, you can get this by um, visiting this address here. You can also just do a Google search for EndNote Click and it's going to take you to the Chrome store. Um, next, something that you want to do if you are someone who um, is here at MD Anderson is you want to um, include some customized library links in your EndNote, your desktop applications settings. And I'm going to share those links in the um, chat, but I'll show you in the EndNote program what you want to do with those links. And this is just going to give EndNote Click um, much greater access, access to full text files. So what you want to do is go to Edit and choose Preferences. You're going to choose Find Full Text.
text. There we go. And what you want to do is make sure that each of these boxes are marked, and they are. And then the links that I dropped in the chat, you're going to um, paste those into these uh, the respective fields. And then last, mark the box down at the bottom that says automatically invoke find full text on newly imported references and click OK. And then you are good to go. OK, um, our last um, import option is something called the Traveling Library. The Traveling Library refers to the collection of references uh, that are inserted into an, a document using EndNote. Um, these references are coded with reference data, and then that data can be exported from the document and imported into your EndNote library. Now, it's important to note here that references that are inserted into a document manually or using some other reference tool um, cannot be exported. Those are not um, EndNote coded references, and so the traveling library feature is not able to work. So I'm going to take you into a Word document this time. Here we go. Let me just confirm. OK, great. So here's my Word document. And I do have um, in-text citations inserted into um, the body. This is just a sample paper into the body of my paper. Um, and they were inserted using EndNote. So to get these, let's say somebody sent this document to me and I want to get these uh, references out of the document and into my own EndNote library. I'm going to click on the EndNote tab. You're going to see when you download the EndNote software, this tab automatically appears in, in your word processing program and it's going to be labeled uh, according to whatever version of EndNote you're using. So I'm using 21, so we see that that's labeled EndNote 21. And then um, in this far right section, um, this export to EndNote. We're going to click there and that's going to menu and we're going to choose export traveling library. Now it's going to ask us whether we want to export these references to an existing EndNote library, um, a library we already have, or if we want to create a whole new library. Um, this is really up to you, but I would recommend um, well, we, re we recommend in general that you try to create as few EndNote libraries as possible um, just to minimize confusion, especially when it comes to the writing process. Um, so I'm going to choose just to um, export these to um, my existing library, the library that I'm, I'm using now. So I'm going to leave that as it is and click on OK. And then I'm going to get a confirmation saying that the export is complete. And I'm going to say OK. OK, and then just for your reference, um, I know uh, I, we went, that, went through that pretty quick, quickly, but for your reference, I do have a slide here that gives you the steps here on the left and then shows you a screenshot here on the right. So you'll have that to refer back to. And that is everything that I have for you guys today. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have, any questions about um, importing references, finding full text, and even really any EndNote questions. It doesn't have to be something that we covered in today's class. So please um, drop your questions in the chat or um, feel free to unmute your mic and ask out loud, and I'll do my best to answer questions. Okay, thank you so much um, for attending and for your questions. That is everything I have for you. There will be a follow-up email with the recording and the, sli and the slides um, after the session. I'm usually able to get that out the same day um, or the following day. So thanks so much, and you guys have a great weekend.